The following is a presentation of Nachi Creek Baptist Church in Madisonville, Tennessee. For more information, please visit nachicreekbaptist.org. Amen. I know it sure has been good being God's house this morning. Amen. I do want to say I do appreciate Brother Gail Miller for the opportunity to come back and once again preach uh, here at Notch Creek. Appreciate your you, Pastor Stacy Chambers. I, I'm telling you, I got to know Brother Stacy and Brother Gail through the through the prayer at the pole and uh, on there on Monday mornings and stuff when when I was in school. And uh, man, I just thank you for doing that and and everything. And was talking to Brother Gail uh, Gail there about it and. He's been doing it for 20-something years, you know, and, and i just just telling you what an impact that that was on my life, amen. And, and I just uh, I want, just want to say I love you, Brother Gail, Brother Stacy, amen, and to the church, amen. And, and this morning, if you got your Bibles, if you would, just turn to Romans 6, 23. Also, I want to, want to do this real quick as well. I also want to, want to uh, say uh, what a great job your, uh, your youth has done here. I know your pastor... Uh, Gail and your you Pastor Stacy are just proud of you, and I want you to know I'm proud of you too, Amen. I know it ain't easy taking a stand, Amen. But uh, but uh, Yens had just uh, just impressed me in that this morning, Amen. Uh, great job, uh, Sunday school, Amen. Uh, uh, to the youth choir that just sung, I'm telling you, Yens, Yens really just did, did a great job, Amen. If you if you took part, you've. Uh, if this morning, will you just stand up uh, real quick? We just won't recognize you, amen. Uh, amen. If you've took part, you, amen, just uh, stand up. We just want to. <laughs> you know, they're, uh, they're the church of the day, amen, but they're also the church of tomorrow as well, amen. And uh, you are doing a great job. You just keep on training them, amen. Parents, you just keep on raising them up, right, amen, and. And keep bringing them to church, amen. It'll uh, pay off, amen, I'm telling you. But, uh, but just what a, a great service in that this morning, amen. If you're at Romans chapter 6, there if you would please stand in reverence to God's Word. I want to I look at one verse here. I just, I just love uh, Romans 6, amen, uh, there and everything. Uh, just uh, one, verse 1 and 2 there, how it just starts out. Uh, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Uh, but God forbid, how shall we doubt our dead to sin live any longer therein? You know, right there's something uh, we're seeing there in the world today, amen. Uh, so many people, they misuse grace, amen. Uh, but grace ain't to be, uh, be uh, misused, amen. But, uh, but uh, I want us to look at 23 where we get our uh, topic here at, amen. It says, for the wages of sin is death, uh, but the gift of God is eternal life uh, through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Uh, let us pray real quick. Uh, dear Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord God, we just thank you uh, just for, the, for your presence uh, that we have felt here this morning, Lord God. We just thank you for the obedience, Lord God. Uh, Lord God, we just pray, Lord God, that as we uh, go into the message, Lord God, uh, Lord God, we just pray, Lord God, that you would just move in a mighty way, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you would just stir hearts and souls uh, with this message, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, there is one here that's lost, Lord God. Uh, Lord God, would, uh, this would be the, uh, a day, Lord God, they would come to know you as their personal Lord and Savior. Lord God, if there's one here that has a need, Lord God, we pray, Lord God, they would just bring you that need for you to meet, Lord God. Uh, Lord God, if there is uh, is one here that has laid down the cross, that has uh, went astray, Lord God, that this morning, Lord God, they would just come back and that to you, Lord God. We now pray, Lord God, you would just hide me behind the cross. Give me the message, the words, Lord God, uh, that you would have me to say, Lord God, have me to preach, Lord God. We just pray, Lord God, God, we just be obedient in that unto you, Lord God. And all these things we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you. you may be seated. Uh, the little thought the Lord has gave me this week is uh, the punishment and the remedy. Amen. And we can see that here in Romans 6, 23, as Paul was writing this. He said, for the wages of sin is death. Uh, that is the punishment, amen, uh, of, of sin, amen, is death, amen. As James 1, uh, 1 and 15 says, that when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when 
it is finished, uh, bringeth forth death. Amen. Uh, we have all that sin nature. Amen. When Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, uh, there, uh, when God placed them there, He gave them one command, uh, and that was, you can eat of any, of any tree here in this garden, uh, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, uh, thou shalt surely not, uh, because in that day uh, thou eatest, uh, thereof thou shalt die. Uh, well, the Satan came along, and he tempted, uh, tempted them there. He said, listen, you won't die. Uh, you'll become as God, uh, knowing good and evil. Amen. He painted them a pretty picture. Uh, that's how Satan is. Amen. Uh, he'll make it pretty. Amen. Uh, he'll, he painted a pretty picture in that. Uh, what well, they gave in to it. Amen. Uh, they began to lust after it. And then they ate uh, that forbidden, uh, forbidden fruit there. And then when they did, uh, their eyes were open. Amen. They realized this. Hey, uh, we have just sinned. Amen. It was so bad. Amen. Uh, that uh, they went. Uh, they heard God uh, walking in the corners of day. Uh, there in the garden, he was coming and looking for them. And they were uh, hiding, amen, at one point or another. Uh, boy, they just had fellowship. And that with God, they just uh, loved it when God would just come down and how they would just commune with him and everything. Uh, but on that particular day, oh, how they just got scared. They went and hid themselves. And that, amen, from God, amen. And God uh, came looking. And he's like, here we are. We hid ourselves, uh, for we were naked. And they uh, had and God asked them, who told you that I was naked? And they just began to uh, pass, the, uh, pass the plan there, uh, pass the blame on one to another. Uh, but, uh, but that day, amen, uh, sin was created, amen. Uh, sin was born, amen. Uh, now we know they didn't die uh, physically that day, amen. Uh, but they died uh, spiritually that day, amen. And I'm telling you, uh, because of it, amen, uh, when we are spiritually dead, amen. And then number two is we all had to face a physical death, amen. I'm telling you, death is coming just this week, amen. Monday, I received a text from my pastor's wife there on prayer chain. And Brother Kenny Arden there went to her church. A great guy, great, and everything. And got word that he passed away suddenly, amen. And then as Friday, Friday came, we went to the funeral there. And uh, yesterday went to the burial service. Uh, but, uh, but you know, uh, death is coming uh, to us all. Amen. It's something uh, that we cannot change. Amen. As Paul said in Hebrews 9 27, and as it is appointed, uh, and as it is appointed that a man uh, wants to die, uh, but after this, uh, the judgment. Amen. Uh, we're all uh, going to face death. Amen. It's promised to us. Amen. Uh, that is the punishment uh, for. Uh, for our sin, amen. When Adam and Eve sinned, amen, uh, that sin fell on all of us, amen. Uh, sin was passed down uh, uh, from Adam and Eve uh, to their children, amen. And, and it just kept it going, amen. We see uh, sin in the days of Noah, uh, that he repented God, uh, that he had made man, and how he sent a great flood, and how Noah uh, found grace in the eyes of the Lord, amen. How Noah found uh, that remedy, amen, and that Amen. And how and how uh, God told him uh, to build this ark, amen, uh, because he was going to destroy it. And the Bible says only eight precious souls uh, were saved out of that flood, amen. Uh, that being Noah and his family, amen. And then uh, the, then uh, there after the flood, they begin to replenish the earth, begin to repopulate it. Uh, but you know, uh, sin just began to grow uh, once again, amen. It got to the point uh, where there had to be something. Uh, that uh, had, had to happen, amen. And uh, and how Jesus there, oh, how he came down here, amen, uh, just to be her sacrifice, amen. Uh, just as that song, uh, song they were singing there, uh, living, he loved me, amen. I'm glad that uh, today, amen, uh, that God loves the sinner, amen. Uh, but he hates it, uh, but he hates uh, sin, amen. Uh, sin is just a small word, and that, uh, but it's very powerful, amen. Oh, what a powerful word uh, sin is, amen. Uh, but I'm glad, amen, that he loved uh, me and you, amen. I'm glad to know, amen, that he loved me and you so much that he came and took our place on the cross at Calvary uh, just for me and you, amen. Uh, uh, so we wouldn't have to die in 
our sins. Amen. Oh, but how death is promised to us all. Amen. James 4, 14 says, Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is isn't even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. Oh, how true that is. Amen. Oh, how our life is like a fog, like a mist. Amen. We're just here for a little time and then we're gone away. Amen. Her life is precious. Amen. Oh, let me ask you something. Oh, what if you, oh, what if you knew oh, that this would be oh, the last service you got to take part in? Oh, what if you knew oh, that, oh, that tomorrow or, or, or in the next hour or so you were going to be, oh, be dead? Amen. God was going to oh, take you out of here. Oh, would you be ready to meet him? I'm telling you, if you're not, amen, you need to accept the remedy. And that this morning, amen, I'm glad to know oh, that there's a remedy and that for her sins, amen, and not for our sins, but for the sins of the whole world. Amen. I'm glad he became the propitiation for our sins. Amen. And for the sins of the whole world. Oh, how his, oh, when he came and when he died. Amen. How, how his, uh, how our sin uh, was laid up on him. Amen. Uh, here was a man named Jesus who knew no sin, the Bible tells us, who walked a perfect life and adds, Amen. Uh, yes, my friend, uh, he, uh, he was tempted uh, just as we are. Uh, but yet he was without sin. Amen. Oh, how he, oh, how he lived a perfect sinless life amen he was the lamb of god amen without blemish and without spot as first peter chapter 1 and 18 and 19 says amen we're not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold but the precious blood of jesus christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot amen oh how he was spotless amen they couldn't find no fault in him a power couldn't find no fault in him amen they had, uh, when he was uh, being tried, uh, they had to bring in uh, false accusers uh, just to lie, amen, so they could, uh, get, uh, so where they could uh, just do away with him, amen. But you know something? Uh, just what they thought, amen. It's just what they thought. They thought when they had him crucified, Brother Gail. Amen. It's just what they thought. Hey, he'll be forgotten in no time. Amen. I was watching a movie there the other night. Uh, the Son of God. Amen. With, uh, with some of my friends there. And uh, uh, when uh, uh, one of the kids I pick up and bring to church a lot of times. Uh, amen. Uh, there was a part in there that said, oh, he'll be forgotten in a week. And uh, he looked at me. He's like, he's a preacher. He's like, he ain't forgotten. Uh, people still talk about him today and I'm like oh that's right amen uh, it, that's what they thought uh, they would put him in his tomb and he would stay dead amen but you know what he said I uh, destroyed his temple and in three days I'll rise it up again amen oh and how he did it church amen how they took his body amen and they and they killed him there on the cross at Calvary but on that third appointed day oh how he lives forevermore amen oh I'm glad he's the remedy for our sin amen Amen. We see the punishment of sin. Amen. Uh, go back to Romans 6, 23 for me there for a second if you would, my brother. Amen. Uh, but we see the punishment for the wages of sin is death. But notice the remedy. But to get to God is eternal life uh, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Uh, that is the remedy. It's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. You know John 3, 16, one of the greatest passages uh, ever uh, to be written. Amen. Uh, it says, for God so loved the world. I'm glad to know today I serve a God that ain't racist. Amen. That ain't no respecter of persons. Amen. Jesus is for all people. And that today, amen. When he died, he didn't die just for a certain few. Amen. He didn't die just for a select few. He didn't die just for a certain he died for all people, amen. Uh, he's for everyone, amen. Uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You can take that word whosoever uh, right there, and you can just mark it out, and you can just put your name in there. And guess what? You're a whosoever, amen. A man, woman, boy, child, or girl, amen. You're a whosoever in the eyes of the Lord, amen. Amen. Well, you can be saved in that today. Amen. If you just believe in him. That's why Paul and Silas told the old Philippian jailer down there in that 16. Oh, how they were arrested. 
and that for the preaching of Jesus Christ. Oh, and they were taken and beaten and thrown in jail at the midnight hour. Oh, I've preached in a jail a lot of times. And a lot of times it's a place where people just so miserable. Amen. And uh, here these old boys were. Oh, they were uh, down there. Uh, they weren't miserable. Uh, they were down there. And they was having a revival in the jailhouse. Amen. Oh, they were down there. Amen. They began to sing praises unto God. Uh, what were they singing? I don't know. Uh, but if I, I like to imagine, they were singing something. A uh, like victory in Jesus. Amen. Uh, because they knew uh, they had the victory. And how they were singing and praying. Uh, they were just praising God. You know something? Uh, that's what we need to be doing today, church. Uh, we need to be praising God. Psalm 150 verse 6 said, uh, Let everything uh, that hath breath uh, praise ye the Lord. Amen. Oh, if you got breath, you need to be praising the Lord with it. Amen. It's what they were doing. Uh, they were just praising uh, the name of the Lord. Amen. And all of a sudden, oh, how that was a great earthquake. Oh, my friend, how prayer will shake things up. Amen. Oh, and how and how God sent an earthquake and that to that prison at night. Amen. And all the guard and all the doors were opened. Amen. And everyone's chains were loose. And the old keeper, uh, seeing that, uh, he came in and he saw uh, the doors open. And he went ahead and was going to take his own life. The Bible said he had his sword drawn. And, and Paul, oh, his son cried out. Oh, I, I guess old Paul must have been Baptist. Amen. He just couldn't be quiet. Amen. He just had to say something. And how Paul cried uh, with a loud voice. Hey, do not self no harm, for we are all still here. And he came in. And he says, sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, believe on the name of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. Amen. Oh, that's how salvation's brought. Amen. We have to believe, don't we, church? Amen. We got to believe. If we don't believe in him, amen, then we're going to perish. Amen. Oh, how there's a lot of people perishing today. Amen. The Bible says that hell hath enlarged itself. Amen. Oh, there's a lot of people dying and going to hell and that. Amen. Uh, there every, every, every week, amen. Most of you probably get the Monroe County buzz, amen. And there, if you turn it over to the second page, you'll see the obituary column. And sometimes, it, and sometimes it's maybe one page. And, and maybe not too many people's dying. And sometimes it takes up pages two and three uh, there. And, uh, and I begin to wonder a lot of times how many of those people uh, were actually ready to go, amen. How many of those people uh, were ready to meet the Lord, amen. I'm telling you, life is too short, church. Amen. But so many people are perishing. Amen. You know something? Uh, that's why First Peter tells us. Amen. Uh, there. Amen. A lot of people is complaining. Amen. Oh, how the Lord, uh, the Lord ain't coming back. Oh, how he's slack concerning his promise. But, but Peter tells us uh, there uh, that uh, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Has some men count slackness, but it's own suffering to us, Lord. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come uh, to repentance. Oh, I'm telling you, uh, he just, he's still in the saving business. Uh, there this morning we saw somebody saved. Amen. I'm glad to know uh, that God is still in the saving business. Amen. He is still calling sinners and that to repentance. Amen. Oh, but one day his mercy is going to run out. Amen. But for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, a lot of people are looking for that everlasting life. Amen. A lot of religions out there say, oh, if you'll just do good, you'll get into heaven. Oh, if you'll just do this, you'll get into heaven. You know what my Bible tells me? Amen. It says Jesus is the only way. Amen. He is the only remedy. Amen. There in John 14, 6, he told them, Jesus said unto them, Amen. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh into the Father but by me. Oh, that's pretty simple right there. Amen. He's the, he is the way. Amen. He, he's the only way. And not only that, but he's the right way. Amen. And he's the truth. Amen. The truth shall set you free. Amen. Who is the truth? 
It's Jesus. It's the truth shall set you free. Hey Amen. Jesus said, uh, said there, that, that whomsoever, hey Amen, the Son sets free, is free indeed. Amen. I'm glad to know He can set us free. And that. And not only that, but He's still alive. Amen. As John 10, uh, verse 10 says, Amen. Uh, the thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and have it uh, more abundantly. Amen. I'm telling you, uh, that's what He wants. Amen. He wants to give us life and give it to us more abundantly. Amen. Oh, how, how last year, hey amen, I had the, had, the, had the opportunity in there to preach my first funeral and had the privilege of doing it with Brother Gale. And, and he just kind of taught me a lot in that funeral. It being my first funeral and no telling how many Brother Gale has done. Hey amen. I'm going to go with probably thousands. Hey amen. It's that close to it, uh, to it there. Hey amen. How about, uh, how about, uh, how about how? Hey amen. That, that as we laid, laid my uncle, it was my great uncle there. Hey Amen. Well, we laid him to rest, and he assured me he'd been saved. Hey Amen. You know something? He just really began to live. Hey Amen. It's when he really began to live. Hey Amen. Oh, how he, oh, how, oh, how he did, oh, how we just laid the body in there. But that day he took his final breath and left this old world. He just really began to live. Hey Amen. Oh, I'm telling you, he wants to give us eternal life. Hey Amen. Oh, it's a gift. Acts 4 12 says, Neither is thou salvation in any other, for there is none other name. Other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Amen. Oh, how he's the only way, church. Amen. We could ever be saved. Amen. He's the only way. He's the only remedy. He is the only cure in that for, for sin. Amen. Oh, I'm telling you. Amen. Oh, he's the only way. Amen. If you try to get in some other way, the Bible says you're a thief and a robber. Amen. And you won't get in. There ain't no back door into heaven. There ain't no side door into heaven. There's only one door, and that is Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, I behold, I am the door. Amen. He is the door that we all must enter. Amen. Oh, and he's the only name that can save us. It's what the angel told Mary there and Matthew, or told Joseph there in a dream. Had there in Matthew 1 21. Angel told Joseph there in a dream, saying, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Oh, and how he did that, church. Amen. Oh, how he's forgiven people of their sins. Amen. Oh, how he's saving them and that from the devil's hell. And that, amen. I just got one, one question I want to ask you real quick. Coming to a closing, will you accept the remedy? Will you accept the remedy? Amen. I remember brother, Dr. Adrian Rogers one time, he told a story. And that. He, he was talking about how a man went to a doctor one time. And the doctor told him some sad news that you're going to die. And that man, he began to beg, beg the doctor. He said, Doctor, there, there's something you must do. He said, He's like, I don't want to die. He, 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 said, he said, there must be a cure. There must be, there must be some kind of medicine you could get me. The doctor thought for a minute and scratched his head. He said, he said brother, he said, I'm pretty sure there's something out there. Hey, Amen. I'm pretty sure there's a cure out there. And he's like, I'm going to do my best to get it. Hey, man, what a man. He went everywhere trying to find that cure. He went to the, to the uh, remotest jungles. Hey, man, and finally he found that cure. Well, he called the, uh, called the man and told him, hey, I found this cure. Meet me at the hospital on this certain day. Hey, man, well, on the way there, the, the doctor was uh, driving like crazy just to get to this man, just to give him uh, this cure before, before it was too late on him. And on the way there, he, he, the doctor had a car wreck. And that car wreck, he, his youngest daughter died in that car wreck. The doctor finally got to the hospital after having that wreck. Shows up and he looked just like a mess. The man is like, doctor, what's wrong with you? You look like chaos. You look like you've been, to cha it's like you've been through chaos and everything else. And, and, the man, and the doctor said, yes, but I found this cure for you. And, and the man looked at it. And the man said, no, I don't, I, he looked at it, took it, and he, and he just threw it up against the wall, and there it shattered. Amen, you know something? That's a picture of Jesus Christ. Amen, how God sent his son to die for me and you. And you know something? So many people are rejecting him in that day of time. Amen, oh, he, he's a man rejected. He's the most unwelcome man. Amen, he's the most unwelcome person in our day of time. We're wanting to take him out of everything. Amen. There in the book of John chapter 1, I didn't have this 
in my notes, amen. I'm trying to come to a close. But it says here in John 1, uh, here, here in, verse, uh, in verse 11 and 12, it says he came to his own, and his own received him not. And in verse 12, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the uh, sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Will you accept the remedy? And that's this morning. Will you accept it? Or will you turn him away? Let's take him and get a song of invitation. The question is up to you. That choice is yours to make. Amen. Only you can decide what you want to do with Jesus. Pilate asked that question. He asked, what shall I do with Jesus? This morning, the question is yours. Will you accept the remedy? And what are you going to do with Jesus? What are you going to do with him? Jesus said there in Revelation, there chapter 3, verse 20. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and sup with him, and he with me. What door is he knocking at? He's knocking at our heart's door. Amen. He wants to come in. But you know something? There, there ain't no way he could turn the knob on, the, on his side. Amen. We got to be the door handle. We got to be the one to go in and invite him to come in, to be our Lord and Savior. And notice what it said. Can you put it back up there for a second, brother? Hey, man, I'm trying to close here. Hey, man, Revelation 3.20. You, you got it says, And behold, stand door knock. If you may hear my voice, open the door, I will come in and sup with him. What does that word sup with him? Oh, it means intimate friendship. Oh, how we can have a close friendship with him. Amen. He's a friend that will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Oh, the Bible says he'll, uh, says he'll be a friend that will stick closer to, a, to us than a brother. Amen. Oh, you can't you can ask for a better friend. Oh, you may have friends down here. Some of them may say, oh, Brother Gail, I'll stick with you. I'll go with you. But you know what happens a lot of times? A lot of times when we need them the most, you know what they're at? Oh, uh, uh, Brother Gail, I'm sorry, but I'm just too busy. I just can't make it. I'm too busy. But you know something? I'm glad I could call the Lord uh, 24 to 7. Amen. And he's always there uh, right on time. Amen. Oh, I'm thankful for that. Amen. But will you let him in this morning? Will you let him in? Behold, I stand at the door knock. Oh, will you, will, will you let him in? Will you accept him this, this, today, amen? You don't, have to, you don't have to face death, amen? Oh, you'll face it. But you know something? Oh, you'll, you'll get to live. You'll just really begin to live. Amen, when you get over there, amen. Oh, the, the, the apostle Paul asked a question there in Acts 15, 55. He says, O death, first thou sting. O grave, first thou victory. The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which give us the victory through, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm thankful that the day that Jesus has beat the, the death and he's beat the grave. The Bible says there in Revelation 1, 18, he says, I, he says, Behold, I, am, I was dead and alive forevermore. And not only that, but I had the keys of death and hell and the grave. Amen. Oh, how he conquered death. Amen. Oh, how he conquered it. Amen. Oh, will you accept the remedy this morning? Dear Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord God, we just thank you for your presence, for the liberty that we have felt this morning, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we just pray as we go into this time of invitation, Lord God. Lord God, you would just be God. Oh, Lord God, we just pray, Lord God, we would just see things happen, Lord God. Lord God, we just pray, Lord God, for that soul, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, that has never accepted you, Lord God, will finally come. And that this morning, Lord God, accept you as their personal Lord and Savior. Oh, Lord God, there's one here that has a need. Let them step out, Lord God. As, as your Bible says, as your word says, there, cast all your care upon me, for I care for you. If there's one here that's backslidden out of your will, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, will help them to come. And that this morning, Lord God. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, we would just be obedient people. And that unto you, Lord God. All these things we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.